go. What a beautiful looking place. The mountainsides, the trees, the lake. Oh, it's amazing. It's... It's beautiful. So Through the Woods is a third person horror game drift in Norse mythology. A lot of things like trolls and elves and shit is gonna be everywhere, so I think it's gonna be cool. I played the demo last year. It was really short, but it was amazing. Oh, it's a bit story here. So you play as the lady on the right. I believe your son gets lost. I'm gonna go exploring, mom. Okay. okay. Yes. Here we go. I will. I will. So we actually get to see how the kid gets lost. As for controls, there aren't a lot of things you can do. You can pretty much just um, move, crouch, sprint, and use a flashlight as as the lady when you're hunting in the dark. Uh, please? Oh no, I'm stuck! I just started the game and I'm already stuck. Help me! <laughs> no! I don't want to start over. I don't want to start over! Oh, there we go. I'm free! Run! Never look back. Now the game is uh, third person, which I'm not really a fan of. It's very console-y. I'm usually uh, a PC player, so... Uh, what did you say? Stay away from the pier? No, fuck that. We're going out there. Right away. I really prefer first person as opposed to third person. It's just much more immersive and you have better vision of what's going on. No, I want to go out on the pier. Yes. Defying mama's orders. What a great day. Right, so I've been out on the pier. Let's go. I can go for some pizza, ma. Oh, he has a pixel jacket. That's cool. Ma, I'm hungry. Where's the pizza? So we're in a cabin out in the woods. That seems like such a great place to just hang out. I wonder if they have internet over there. I can't live without internet. There's grass growing on the roof. It's like a hobbit's house. Oh, I want to live in a hobbit's house. Mom. Wake up, Ma. Mom, wake up. <laughs> wake up. You've been asleep. The facial oh, animations are a little bit weird. Okay, it's been. I'm up. Sorry. Why do you have to stay up so late? You're always tired. It's been. I came here to work. You were supposed to be with your grandparents this weekend. What do you do for work Sorry. that you have to be in a cabin out Just in the woods? Coffee. We'll go night fishing down by the lake or something. I just wanted to go to the bathroom, but it's dark outside. I'm sorry. Go get the flashlight and I'll come out with you. Oh no, don't go out into the darkness. Just don't do it. So, um... Stars, Espen. Oh, I have the flashlight. Yeah, Ma, they're beautiful. The stars are amazing. the fuck is that? In the window, there's like... Oh, there are flies in the bathroom. You wait right here, won't you? Of course. Yeah, I hate these kinds of toilets. The old style. Ugh. They're just terrible for everyone. So... so what do you want to do tonight? I'm out. Mom, I'm trying to pee here. Don't talk to me while I pee. Come on, Ma, you know this we stuff. Could make some hot chocolate. Mom! And I open the door. No. You can't open the door. What a go terrible away. game. Just wait up the path. I can't go while you're standing there. Okay, little Fine. Guy, if you say so. What a cranky little guy. I gotta make sure nothing goes there. Because I know there are evil spirits and bullshit about. How far up the path am I supposed to go, though? Are you done in there, Espen? There we go. Espen. Oh no, he's gone! He fell into the toilet! Stop messing around, Espen. I'm not in the mood. He didn't go to the toilet. Espen, where are you? I mean it, Espen. Come out! 
Oh no, this kid. Ah, oh, you bastard! What are you doing? Sorry, I thought I'd see if I could scare you after all. You little bastard! You almost scared Let's me. I thought inside. you were dead. I don't know if I want to make you have chocolate anymore. I was only kidding. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Well, it's too late. No chocolate. Okay. No. But don't scare me again. Ah, uh, I don't want to make her chocolate okay. or him. Hey, can I go down to the pier in the morning? I want to try catch some crabs. I'm pretty sure you're not going to find any crabs. It's a freshwater lake. Anyway, the pier is broken and dangerous. Please don't go down there by yourself. Fine. But I still want hot chocolate. Yeah, we're gonna get hot chocolate because I don't have a choice I'm in the matter. I'm going to pretend that I was a great mother. When Espen was born, I found, to my surprise, I felt nothing. My nightmare He's an architect. Come true, it and seems I was like left raising a child I didn't love. My friends became distant, and Espen's father and I began to fight. Oh, poor kid. I resented them both. And one day, Espen and me were alone. But as Espen got older, I slowly began to realize something. I did love him. No. I loved him so much I ached. He became my best friend. My favorite thing. And <laughs> I lost him. <laughs> what happened? She, she just other. died. And I don't know if I can forgive myself. Or Espen. Oh, he left a note on the table. Espen? Time to read the note. Time to read the note. Espen? Want some breakfast? Or lunch? We have eggs and bacon. Guess he's out playing. I'm gonna have to read the note. Hi, Mom. You're always asleep when I wake up. That was really boring going out to play. Oh, radio. I'll dance. Oh boy. <laughs> Look at that. He's in shock. Possessed by a demon. Right, so let's see here. What can we I do loved here? Our room at the cabin. Espen's reflectors looked nice in the sunlight, and his drawings fascinated me. He the accent is the pretty world, heavy, but it's it pretty good. From his imagination to the page, in pastels what? and pen. The process always seemed to distill the harsh world into something pure. Look at the squirrel. All right, I'm gonna k pick up the pace. I'm gonna go outside, I think. Yeah. Because I have to go find my kid. He's gone. Espen. Espen, show yourself. I don't have time for this. I need to Espen, work. Talk to me, little man. Oh, evil crow. Evil crow. Can I walk on him? No. That crow, he doesn't even care that I'm here. He's so cool. He's so damn cool. Right, so where's the pier? I don't think I was at the pier before. It was just so tiny. But I'm gonna go look. Oh, she's out of breath? Really? That's an annoying hey. What the fuck? Hey, get away What's that? Get head. there! Go, go, go! Jesus. <clears throat> Jesus. Espen, get Hurry away up! From him. You can catch Espen, him, you can catch him, you can catch him. Jump! Mmm! No! He's gone. Oh yeah, yeah. No! Oh god, please! Swim! Espen. Swim faster! Espen. You're never going to catch a boat. A robot is faster than you. No! Come on! Espen! Yes, Espen! Yeah, he's going to fade out. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, oh, that's the title. I thought it was like the Flying Dutchman or something coming out behind the shadows. Yeah, he's still there. I can still see him. Slowly fading. 
Hurry up! Hurry up! Hurry up! And gone. And now, shocking news, indeed. I got an achievement. I'm so happy. Achievements are great. Where am I? Oh, I'm still swimming. Then I can hear orcs in the distance. Oh, he, that was actually a viking boat. That's so cool. Boom! Boom! Cell so phone's dead. No, it's actually... Yeah, it's dead. It's ripped! I have a feeling I'm gonna hear that name a lot of times during this playthrough. Okay, so I can go left or right. I wanna go through the gates. I wanna sprint all the time too, but... Espen? Shit, this Espen? can't be happening. Can't be happening. I love the accent. Oh no, so many paths to choose from. So either we go under that mountain or we go to the castle. I want to go to the fort, because it, it seems cool, it seems cool. And if I were an evil man, I would definitely live in a fort, if I had the option. What the hell? How do you even get out there? Yeah, I have to run around the entire thing? Oh, here we go. Gate open, oh, oh, runestones. They're not runestones, they're something else. Oh, oh, there's a runestone. I wonder if she can read them. <gasps> He's gonna burn them! He's gonna burn Espen. Oh, hurry up, hurry up. We don't have a lot of time. I don't think we have a lot of time. This is like an old Viking village. What the hell? It's in such good condition. What? Hello? Why? It's genuinely a Viking village. It's not anything modern about this. Yeah, Viking baby bed. With dragons. Holy crap, this is hey, cool. Is someone there? Someone, are you there? I'm looking for you, someone. Another Viking bed. Cooking pots. And I don't think there will be any Vikings. Just monsters and shit. Ooh, a book! Text. The old bastard came to the village yesterday. The craven horse and took rider's boy away. The bastard. No one saw him come. Though he set a watch some weeks ago, the boy didn't make a sound, the wretched thing. We'd all mind... We'd all mind to go up there at last and put an end to this before the gates. What? The cursed gates won't open those such as us. All we can do is to bide and hope Ryder's boy was the last. The corruption of the man, his heart, if he has one, must be rotted as a moth, um, as a month dead swine. And our gods do nothing? A curse on the whole festering pile of them. A curse on the whole murdering bastard Eric. Oh, oh, so that's uh, the, the guy. Can I take the book with me? I need the evidence. a man called old Eric. They said he would sneak into the village at night and steal away children who misbehaved. My parents used to tell me that I had to be good or old Eric would come and take me. At the time, it didn't even cross my mind that the person in the journal could be the same man from oh. the folk tales. But later, there are no hinges on the door. How do they work? Like magic. Right, so the only reason Espen was taken away was because I walked out on the pier. I was a bad kid. It's my fault. It's really my fault. I have no one but myself to blame. But this is the longhouse. This is where the parties happen. I love the aesthetics of the game. All the wooden lumber houses, Viking style things and shit. I hear music. I can't be good. I hear music. Sounds like it's coming from over here. What is that? A feather? This is Espen's. 
Oh no! Okay. I'm coming, Espen. Reflectors. Yeah, take it. Espen. Espen loved his reflectors. He collected them from magazines and cereal boxes. And I bought him a couple from the gas station by our house. He'd he collects them. From the curtain pole at the cabin and wave his flashlight over them at night to watch them shine. <laughs> wave is what? Any of this was That's funny. He waved his sex toy on his reflectors. What I couldn't know at the time was that he'd left me more. A trail. And as long as I stumbled across these reflectors now and then, that Espen was still alive. How many reflectors did you even have? Espen, you might have a problem. Ooh. Mirkstad. So I think these are checkpoints. These are checkpoints. I do not need to save now. Move on. Move on. Espen! Espen! Where are you? So, um, yeah, you should be faster than old Eric. First up, he's old. Second, he has to bring a kid with him. And just fight the kid all the time. Because the kid is not going to go voluntarily, right? Okay, things are getting darker. The sun is setting. And the evil is growing. Yes, a dark cave. I love these. They're great. Shit. Old bastard must have pulled a bridge across. Too far to jump. I'll have to go down. No, you can make that jump. That's not a problem. Right, so we're gonna go around then. He's too much of a pussy to jump over the bridge. I believe in you, but you don't believe in yourself. Espan! There's just a lot of junk there. Nothing worth looking at. Well, her conditioning seems to be a bit better now. I can run for much longer paces. Um. Oh, that's no! Flashlight. And his jacket. Oh shoot! So he's now no. naked. Espen, please don't hurt him. Please, don't you hurt him? Take the flashlight. We don't have time for this. I'm coming, Espen. I'm coming. <laughs> well, that's that's good. 